Uh, Sony State of Play. Yep. Went live. Uh huh. I don't know what day. It was June uh, 2nd? 2nd? Yeah. Yes. You didn't watch it? I didn't watch it. Oh, man. You must have watched my recap video. I though. did not. What? Yep. It's oh, true. Rude. I'll just get the live recap from you okay. right now. Okay. Sounds good. We're doing it live. So we're doing Fuck it. Let's do it live. <laughs> um, it started off with a big bang. Resident big Evil 4 bang. remake right off the bat. While it was uh, coming up, it was like, it just had some Spanish guitar playing. I was like, oh, what is this? And it just had a E on the screen, I think. In the middle of the screen, it was like an E with Spanish guitar. And I'm like, what is this? This sounds interesting. <laughs> and then it, the letters started fading in and it's like Resident Evil. And I was like, what? Resident Evil? And then it's just a big four. It's like, holy <laughs> shit, they're doing it. <laughs> so Resident Evil 4 remake. All the bet new graphics, just like in Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. Um, this looked incredible. I've never <laughs> really played Resident Evil 4. Uh, Resident Evil 4 is one of the only Resident Evils, aside from one, that I've put some serious time in. Oh, crazy. I don't think I ever finished it, but played a, I played a lot, played a lot of GameCube. it. I had it for GameCube, but I, I kept dying to the chainsaw guy right at the start, and I was like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> so I'd be like, I would be like, okay, I can close the door. Oh, no, he chainsawed through the door, and I'm dead. I just, I couldn't get, I don't know. I wasn't playing it like a, res, like a, I guess it was because it wasn't like the other Resident Evils. I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm excited to play this one now. Now that I know more about how the Resident Evil 4 to 8 games want you to play them. Yeah. Um, It looked really nice. Yes. Is it going to come out on Xbox? I'm thinking probably. It didn't say it was exclusive, so. Yeah, I, I doubt it will be exclusive. Yeah. What's your hype level on this? Uh, nah. Nah? I mean, great that it's coming out for Resident Evil fans. It's awesome. Yeah. But it's not, uh, it's not for me anymore. Anymore? There One time that would have been At one you? time when I was a young lad. A definitely lad? for me. Okay. But I am an old lad with no time. You got to make time to do time. Wait, <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's kind of. It kind of makes sense. Sure. You got to make time to do time because you got to get put in jail. So you got to put in the time to get put in jail. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, next up was Spider-Man coming to PC. Spider-Man Remastered. I was like, what do they got to remaster? This game's like two, three years old. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's crazy. So I think remastered means what? Like, I think they'll just add like 4K textures, make everything yeah. like way more, put the RTX on for sure. Well, it had RTX, I think, on the PS5 version, maybe. I'm not sure. It'll have something. Um, it won't be RTX because it's people uh, were hyped AMD. about this, but I just was like, I don't care about Spider Man really. I'm sure a Spider Man game would be fun, swinging around New York and stuff. Yeah, it was interesting seeing like the characters in the the uh, trailer here. I'm like, was that Silver Sable in this video? Like, what's <laughs> going on here? Um, but uh, I haven't played it up till this point. I don't. I'm not gonna play this on PC, so it's not a big deal to me. Yeah. It's definitely not going to be on the old Sony Game Pass thing. So. <laughs> no. Whatever. It looks, uh, looks way better from what than I'm what? seeing here on looks the PC. Way way better than what? Than it did on the Xbox or PlayStation. But I, thought, I don't think I saw the PlayStation 5 or yeah. really paid attention. I mean, to it looked fine to me, but whatever. PlayStation 4 for sure. Um, I think this just, uh, I think it's a good indicator that Returnal might be coming to PC. I think it's, oh, I uh, think it is coming to yeah, PC, but I think it's a big boost, big boost to that uh, rumor. Again, just the way Sony's doing their PC and Game Pass stuff doesn't really flow my boat too much. So, uh, hype level for Spider Man on the next the PC? Nope, zero, zero, one, I mean, not even a one, not even a one. Doesn't move your PP. Doesn't one move my PP at all. Not okay. even one okay. micron of blood was pumped into it. Wow, crazy. Yes. Uh, next up was PSVR two bullcrap. Yep, which I don't really care about, but I mean Horizon. Um, Horizon. Oh. Call of the Mountains. Call of the Mountain, yep. Looked like uh, just a vomit simulator. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> it looked like they, the way they showed it without any hood, any anything like that, it looked like it was just going to be like, Bleh! yeah, maybe. Just vomit all over the place. Uh, I have not played a Horizon game yet. They look like they'd be up my alley. Yes, they kind of look like Monster be. Hunter Light almost. Yeah. So you're hunting these monsters to get parts and stuff. I think, I think they're fully up your alley. Yeah. I mean, open world check <laughs> <laughs> open world female character up. check yep yeah rpg elements check check 
Xbox control. I mean, PlayStation controller negative, negative. X. Um, but yeah, this was uh, it looked interesting. And then after that, they announced that there's a Horizon Forbidden West update is out now for New Game Plus, adding causes or uh, transmog, adding ultra hard difficulty, <laughs> uh, all sorts of cool stuff they added with this for the Horizon Forbidden oh, nice. West. So nice. And I love it when they do that shit. Like, yeah. It's out now. Just go get it. Just go get it. Uh, they also showed off in the VR section um, a Walking Dead game, Saints and Sinners 2. At first, I, it kind of reminded me of like Dying Light. Yeah. And I was like, oh, is this Dying Light VR? But it didn't look as good as Dying Light. So I was like, is it because it's VR they had to tone it down? And then it was like, oh, it's The Walking Dead. <laughs> oh. And then they, I wonder if they showed all this shit in here. Oh, yeah, they have them down lower. This listing is not in order of the way the show went off here. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they also showed off um, Resident Evil Village in VR. And I was just like, it, when I was, I was live streaming this and reacting to it. And I was like, oh, VR, horror VR. Like, no, I, I don't need to be that scared. But then I was like, oh, this will be perfect for the whip, the people that want to be stepped on. They can just lay right down <laughs> and she yep. can step right on you. <laughs> this will be perfect for those weirdos. So, uh, yeah. There also was the Callisto Protocol. We talked about this one. Did we? A long time ago. Looks pretty good. It's like Dead Space. It's made by the guy that like was the producer on Dead yeah. Space. So this is basically like another dead space. But the why we talked about this back in the day, Mikey T, you probably won't remember this, was this game initially was in the PUBG universe. <laughs> was it? It was part of the PUBG universe. Huh. And then they were like, no, actually, let's take it out of there. It's grown too big to be part of the PUBG universe. <laughs> but yeah, it was. I don't know how it was part of the PUBG universe, but it was part of the PUBG universe. Yeah. So. Hmm. The graphics look great. Yeah. Settings look great. Dead space. I'm into it. Yeah. It's basically aliens. Yeah. Should be scary. Well, this comes it. out in December. Will you play it? Yes. No. No. Uh, it comes out in December. They couldn't make it for Halloween. So they're like, we're sending out in December. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, uh, it looks pretty good. It might I be one so. of those games that I, maybe it has chapters. Probably. I mean, Dead Space definitely did. Yeah. So, yeah. Who knows? We might, we might play it. I'm going to play it. Uh, roller drone. This looks like a PVP roller derby with guns where you're tricking around and killing things. Maybe yep. it's single player. It looks like it's multiplayer to me. Yeah, it could be. I, I like the art, art style a lot. Art, art style is fantastic. It looked like, uh, it reminded me of like some, it just reminds me of like eighties DC comic book. Oh art. yeah, for sure. Just the way the line, it looks like line drawing to me. Yeah. Um, it looked very cool. I I mean, it looked cool. The this sort of retro stuff going on it was cool. At the start of the trailer, there's a sound of a cassette tape being put into a player <laughs> and then the play button hit. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I like I it. would play the hell out of this game. I if it's PVP, I mean, no, I don't think I would. I don't think so. I I'd, I'd play it either way. I don't think so. Um next up was Eternites. As this was, they didn't show the name of it or anything. It starts off, and I'm like, man, is this a new Persona game that's coming out? Yeah, it like, looked very Persona. Super Persona-like. And then it's like this Eternites RPG, action RPG with dating sim elements, school life, blah, blah, blah. Afterwards, it's a guy who really liked Persona games, started working on this game, and then quit his job to do it full-time. <laughs> I think it's Western Developed. Oh, that's interesting. It looked like it was ja very Japanese. Oh, yeah, it definitely looks very uh, um, Japanese. Very much Persona-ish. Oh, and yeah. the guy's arm is, like, chopped off, and it looks like he can just transform it, because there was one scene where Yeah, he... I just saw him transform it into a tentacle. Yeah, so... and the girl's like, oh, a tentacle! <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's not what she's thinking about on the inside. Yeah, very weird and wild. Tentacles on the inside. Whoa! Yeah. Um... Yeah, this I don't know why Polygon did this article in this order. It's just fucking shotgun here. It's not in the order of the show at all. <laughs> yeah. The show ended out with Final Fantasy 16 and they showed off story elements, gameplay elements. Uh it looked interesting. The graphics look incredible, of course. Um the gameplay looks total hack and slash. Who knows what's hack going slash, on with huh? it? Um showed a lot of different 
I mean, they're not called summons or espers in here. They got some other name. Icons, I think they're called, hmm. maybe. Um, I'm interested to see what this game's all about. Again, I've said it like 10 times on here. I'll play a Final Fantasy when it comes out and be like, no, I don't like it. And then I'll revisit it like three years later and <laughs> yeah. be like, oh, actually, I do like it. So who knows? Maybe this one I'll just jump right in and enjoy it straight off the bat. Yeah, they're really uh, really showing off all of the summons, icons, whatever the frig. Yeah. At the end of that video. I mean, they look impressive. But oh, yeah. The whole the whole game looks But it shows like they're intense. fighting each other. Like it's like Ifrit versus Shiva. Yeah. It's like what exactly is... Bar. Yeah, what is going on there? Yeah. So maybe it's like Pokemon. Got to catch them all. I mean, you do catch all the uh, espers in Final yes. Fantasy VI. But now you make them like fight that. and they level up. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> um, Street Fighter VI trailer. I mean, Street Fighter is Street Fighter. Yeah, but Street Fighter is Street Fighter. This showed off some sort of open world roaming around thing where Buddy was running around punching barrels and it looked like there might be some sort of RPG-ish story mode or something like that. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. So, very interesting. Um, I'm intrigued. Uh, will Street Fighter 6 come to Xbox this time? Like, Street Fighter 5 is only on PlayStation and on PC. Street Fighter 6 is just Shenmue. No. It's, it's just better Shenmue. No, You just no. go around. That's called Yakuza. You look for your father. That's called Yakuza. fight people. Who knows what's the... I'm interested. I'm interested. I like Street Fighter. If it's got some sort of cool story mode, yeah, maybe. Man, but right, I want to play it on looking old. Well, I mean, dude. <laughs> looking old balls. <laughs> like, Street Fighter's like 30 years old. That's true. So, Ken is like a hobo in this one. <laughs> is he? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hobo Ken. Hobo Ken. Um, Tunic coming to PlayStation. Uh, I knew Tunic was like a console launch exclusive for Xbox. It's coming to PlayStation shortly it looks like a cool game looks like i'd enjoy it it's like a zelda ish game yeah i would definitely enjoy this one as well i've Um, seen uh i've seen a couple streamers play it and it looks uh yeah yeah like i'd like it it looks pretty interesting so i haven't tried it out yet it's on game pass i could try it out but you definitely could not enough time in the world not enough um you gotta make time to do time exactly uh season a letter to the future this looks like a story-based narrative driven adventure where you're taking pictures of just everyday life Seems. also recording sound oh huh. you're whipping out your microphone and recording like sounds to i don't know dude it looked very interesting <laughs> seems like a kirby game to me yeah yeah it looked very interesting um i don't know will it come out to xbox or somewhere i want to play it who knows um it just seemed very interesting it looks like yeah just like a you know, you're going and learning about people's lives. Yeah. So interesting story, I'm sure. Stray. I'm into it. Cat backpack game. I'm into it. Cat pack. <laughs> cat pack. Um, yeah, you're just playing as this cat wandering around the cyberpunk world. Cyberpunk quests. and you're a cat? I'm into yeah. it. <laughs> so what's hype level on Stray? Stray? Yeah. Uh, I can't let myself get too hyped because it's PlayStation exclusive. Is it? Yeah, they said it's coming to PS4, PS5, and you'll get it free on... Uh, yeah, I mean, plus. that doesn't mean it's exclusive. It didn't I say it was not. exclusive. I guess not. It just said it's coming on to the PlayStation. Yeah, well, if it's on PC, I will play it, and uh, yeah. If, if it's great. on PC, hype level what, 10? Yeah, hype Eight? level 10. I will buy it the day it comes out and play it. Wow. The cat game. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I want to play this one for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, cats and cyberpunk, give it to me. Exactly. If, if, if you can hack... I'm into it. <laughs> um, maybe. Who knows? It looked like you were doing missions and stuff like yeah. that. So it looked pretty cool. I liked it a lot. And the cat looks pretty, pretty realistic. Yes. Except when it opened its mouth. That didn't look too realistic. Open its mouth and fired the lasers out? No, there's no laser oh, no mouth. Lasers. Oh, no lasers. No laser mouth. Yeah, I'm into this. Yeah, it sure. was it was pretty cool state of play. Uh, there's no real time wasted. Nothing was like a dud, really, that I thought, except for... Saints Row, or not Saints Row, <laughs> Saints Row, um, Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners VR zombie game, because I don't care about Saints, why do I keep saying Saints Row? <laughs> it's because it's called Saints and Sinners or whatever. Yeah, as soon as you say Saints, the next word yeah. automatically out of your mouth has to be Row. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I don't care about The Walking Dead. No. And I, I mean, whatever, I don't like, I don't care about VR either, so it doesn't really do anything for me. I guess not. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for Stray. Stray, uh, Roller Rollerdrome. I'm into it. Yeah. Other uh, than that, other than that, the other one was uh, uh, that 
Dead Space one. That Callisto one Protocol. Cool. There was another one, I think, that was it. It got posted to Reddit around the same time. Another one, what? I, it looked really good. It looked like it would be a, a co-op game? survival. A game? Yeah, a game. Uh, okay, for the PlayStation. Yeah, for the for the PlayStation. I don't know. Um, I'm I only saw this stuff for the on the state of play. Hmm. Was that all that? There wasn't anything else. I don't think there was anything else. I think that was everything. Let me, let me, let me see. Anything. I can't remember anything that was missed. There was. It was only thirty minutes long, so yeah. like there wasn't much else that could have been in there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't uh, think it, it was right. Uh, here it is. Here it is. It's called Vigor Chronicles. No, that wasn't in. The that wasn't in there. No. Huh. No. It looks pretty good. It looks like a post-apocalyptic uh, co-op survival where it's just like you and another person. Oh, yeah. Never heard of it. Story mode. Never heard of it. I, yeah, I just watched it on Reddit and Gaming oh, News. Yeah. Uh, okay, well then, 